A one local public library benefiting from a mistake made on the other side of the country. Yeah, today I went to Berkeley here in Michigan to see what has everybody working there saying thank you and preparing for what's next. This time of year would be a great time for a visit to California. But in one metro Detroit town, 125 visitors from California have made their way to the cold. Okay, so they're not people, they're buttons. Meant for one library and landing in another 2,000 miles away. Berkeley, California. Public library there had some buttons printed. I have a library card, and the printer spelled them R Berkeley. So they didn't have any use for them over there and asked if we wanted them and sent them our way. It's easy to see the confusion. Only one letter is the difference between the two cities' names. We spell it B E R K L E Y. And how do they spell it? They spell it B E R K E L E Y. Yeah. What's common about Berkeley and Berkeley? Not too much except for the libraries. They've got an extra E. We've got a lot of extra snow. And even though the confusion continues, the kids at the library here end up being the ultimate winners. When kids come in and get their first library card as a little token, we give this to them and just a fun way for them to remember the library. We're all watching out for each other. Um, now we have a nice connection with uh, another library on the other side of the country. So this was the remnants of actually something that happened 10 years ago. So 10 oh. years ago, they sent them hundreds of these buttons, and they actually just ran out in our local library, and they thought they were out of luck. And then they got the message from the Berkeley, California. They said, hey, we have one more box of these. So it's <laughs> perfect. Now more kids get to come and get the button with their library card. California love. That's we'll right. We'll take it. <laughs>